Chapter 4, Dimple Scrunchy. Ellie the cat ran along the landing. It was filled with low lights and long shadows. I'm a cat, Ellie wailed. I'm a cat. Ellie glanced down at her paws and wailed even louder. She didn't like being furry. What am I going to do now? Ellie thought. She'd have to find Grandma's ring if she ever wanted to be a girl again. Ellie was just about to turn the corner to go up the stairs, but she skidded into a halt. The huge shadow of some enormous beast was on the opposite wall. There was something around the corner waiting for Ellie. It had towering legs and a long back and even a longer tail. Who, who, who's there? Ellie called out, feeling terrified. A loud, deep voice from around the corner replied, My name is Dimple Scrunchy. I eat a rhino for my lunchy. I'm big and bad and bold and keen, the meanest beast you've ever seen. Ellie looked up and down the landing. She had to go around the corner. That was the only way to the attic, and that's where she wanted to start searching for Grandma's wedding ring. Ellie, started at the long sh Ellie stared at the long shadow on the wall. She couldn't sit there forever, so she took a deep breath and called out, I'm not afraid of you, whoever you are. Ellie's knees were knocking together so loudly she almost couldn't hear herself. And now that she had four knees, they made a great deal more noise than two. She walked slowly but steadily around the corner, holding her head high. Arr, said a voice. Jolly the giant, I've had it now. Ellie looked down to where the voice was coming for. Who are you? She asked, surprised. Dimple Scrunchy, the 75th at your service, said the mouse in front of Ellie. But you're a mouse, said Ellie said. Of course I'm a mouse, said Dimple. Go on, Jolly the Sneaky. Get it over with. Don't play with me. Just knock my block off. Dimples closed his eyes and struck out his neck. Ellie frowned. Why on earth would I do that? She asked. Dimple opened her, opened his eyes and stared at her without saying a word. Was it you who made the giant shadow? Ellie asked as she raised a paw to point at the wall. I did, Dimple said slowly. I made the biggest, boldest shadow, don't you think? Yes, I do, said Lee said. It's very impressive, especially for a mouse. I thought you were at least as big as an elephant. Dimple looked Ellie over. Who are you? He asked. You look like Jolly the Devious, but you don't sound like her. And you're not very smart, are you? Mind you, I've never met a cat who was smart. Sly, yes. Smart, no. I'm not a cat, Ellie said. I'm a girl. Does that mean you're not going to eat me? Dimple asked hopefully. Ugh, eat you? I don't think so. Ellie shivered at the thought of eating a mouse. Dimple breathed a sigh of relief. Now I know I know you're not Jolly the Sly, Dimple said. She would have swallowed me in two seconds flat. So how did you come to look like Jolly the Nasty? Grandma put me in Jolly's body because I, Ellie began, I threw my food on the floor. She felt very silly saying it. Why did you do that? Dimple asked. I didn't want to, Ellie pouted. Why didn't you just say that you didn't want it? Because I, Ellie started. She didn't really know why. I, I just didn't. You're not very smart, are you? Dimple said. Are you sure you're not a cat? My name is Ellie and I'm a girl. I promise, Ellie replied. But I'll never be a girl again if I don't find Grandma's wedding wing by this time tomorrow. Where did your grand lose it? Dimple asked. If she knew that, She'd know where to find it, and then it wouldn't be lost, Ellie said. Hmm, excuse me, I'm sure, Dimple said. I was only trying to bloom in help. Dimple tossed his head, turned, and began to scamper off. No, don't go, Ellie called. I, I, I need your help. I'm sorry I was rude. Ellie wasn't used to saying sorry, but she thought she'd find the ring 
fast trip dimple helped her and it would be nice to have someone to talk to while she was searching. Let me get this straight, Dimple said. If you find the ring, then your gran will switch you back. You'll be a girl again and Jolly the Folly will be a cat. That's right, Ellie said. Please help me, Dimple frowned. I'm not sure I want Jolly back. Does that mean you won't help me, Ellie asked. Dimple smiled and said, of course I'll help you. I'd do anything to get back at Jolly the Horrid. I bet she just loves being a girl. That's exactly what she said before I left the room, Ellie said. That seals it, Dimple told Ellie. I'll help you. Let's find your grand ring. Now we'll move on to chapter five.